Ever had such a hankering for donuts that you've genuinely considered opening a whole store of them? If not, it might be time to hop on board the Dunkin' Donuts franchising bandwagon. From the sounds of it, there's never been a better time to get involved. Best part of my day is when I'm at Dunkin'. You think that's sad? Yes, very. Real customers know the holidays run on Dunkin'. While Dunkin' Donuts is considered an icon in the Northeastern US, it's just as strong a presence across the globe. The brand serves an estimated 3 million customers a day, and 8 million are enrolled in their mobile app DD Perks program. With more than 12,000 locations around the world and 8,500 in the US, Dunkin' Donuts and its sister franchise Baskin Robbins together have 98% brand recognition among their customers. And while the company faces competition from chains like Starbucks and McDonald's, the annual sales of a branch of Dunkin' Donuts can range from $620,000 to $1.3 million a year. As an added bonus, a drive through window can boost sales by about $200,000 to $300,000 a year. Of that, a franchise owner can expect to make up to $124,000 dollars a year, or about $60 an hour. Entrepreneur Magazine even named Dunkin' Donuts number two on its list of fastest growing franchises rankings for 2019. The ranking reflects the brand's ability to scale up and to take their franchisees with them. Fun fact, in the same survey, only one of two of Dunkin's strongest competitors, McDonald's, made it to the top 20, and it came in as low as number 18. Dunkin' Donuts, or Dunkin' as it's now officially known, was founded by Bill Rosenberg, who started a catering business that kept workers in the Boston area fed with meals and snacks. Because that business was a success, Rosenberg decided to open a donut shop in Quincy, Massachusetts, called The Open Kettle, which renamed itself Dunkin' Donuts two years later. The first Dunkin' Donuts franchise opened in 1955, and a decade later, there were up to 100 stores. The year Dunkin' Donuts was born, however, the company actually underwent a pretty major split. Bill Rosenberg's business partner and brother-in-law, Harry Winnowker, went his own way and set up his own coffee and donut shop, which you might today know as Mr. Donut. Mr. Donut was sold in 1970 to Minneapolis-based International Multifoods. Then in 1989, Dunkin' Donuts was acquired by British company Allied Lions PLC in a move that strengthened the company's position as what was then the world's largest coffee and donut chain. In 1990, International Multifoods sold the US and Canadian franchises of Mr. Donut brand back to what was then known as Allied Lions. That sale, at least in the US and Canada, meant that the Dunkin' Donuts and Mr. Donut brands were back where they started, under the same roof. Today, Allied Lions has become Dunkin' Brands, who owns Dunkin' Donuts, Mr. Donut, and Baskin Robbins ice cream. This is why you see both Dunkin' and Baskin Robbins stores appear as co-branded shops from time to time, although Mr. Donut usually appears as a standalone store. Above all else, it's been innovation that has helped Dunkin' stay on its toes. Today, the seemingly ubiquitous donut chain has opened more than 12,000 stores in 45 countries, of which 73% of stores are in the United States and 27% are located overseas. The chain also sells as many as 70 different kinds of donuts, as well as coffee drinks, sandwiches, bagels, and other baked goods. Dunkin' Donuts prides itself on adapting to the tastes of its local consumers, too. Because of this, the company appears to be happy to make tweaks to the menu in order to make flavors and offerings more relevant and appealing to the markets they are in. For instance, caramel macchiato is served with coffee cubes in South Korea. In Japan, you can get a mochi ring made with glutinous rice flour, which comes in flavors such as mango, banana, chocolate, and green tea. Indian Dunkin' Donuts customers, meanwhile, can ask for a donut with saffron-flavored icing and sprinkled with pistachios, and durian donuts are sold in Thailand. Clearly, the company knows what it's doing when it comes to the global markets, and that's as good a reason as any to partner up with them. Aside from the donuts themselves, obviously. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.